All right, so it's getting to be that time of year again. The seasons are changing, pumpkin spice lattes are back, and the iPhone 13 is right around the corner. And right now, everyone wants to know what's coming and when it's being released. Today, I'm sharing with you everything we know about the iPhone 13. So the biggest questions on everyone's mind are, what's the latest changes and when is the phone coming out? After all, we know that even if the iPhone 13 isn't for you, once it's announced, the iPhone 12 prices will drop, making them much more attainable than they are right now. We'll get into that, but if at any point you guys wanna jump around this video, feel free to use the chapters below. And if you're with me all the way through this, then let's talk about the release date. According to the latest leaks, which came out today actually, the release date for the iPhone 13 is September 17th. That's right, in just a few weeks, we could have a brand new lineup of iPhones, and I'm really excited about this. Now taking a look at it on a calendar, so we know that the release date is September 17th. History would tell us that that means that pre-orders are happening one week before that on September 10th. And pre-orders usually happen on the same week as the Apple Keynote, and Keynotes usually only happen on a Tuesday, which would put us at Tuesday, September 7th. Now, considering this is a long weekend, it is possible that Apple will push this date to Wednesday, September 8th. Now again, none of this is certain. It's only official when Apple actually announces it. Now there's also talks about new AirPods 3, which I'll cover in a separate video, and they could also be announced at the Apple keynote, and if they are, they're slated for a release date of Thursday, September 30th. And again, these are just rumors based on credible leakers. We don't know for sure up until the last moment when Apple decides when their keynote is. Now let's talk about the changes themselves. Apple is said to be announcing a lineup of four new iPhones on the iPhone 13 lineup, with a Pro Max, a smaller Pro model, a similar size 13, and the mini is said to stick around for another year. And of course, the display sizes are said to be exactly the same as they were last year, ranging from 6.7 inches on the upper model all the way down to 5.4 inches on the mini. And that's simply because this year is an S year. That's right, history would tell us that every other year is an S year, meaning that the phone is gonna have the exact same design with only small improvements to performance, battery life, minor feature improvements and updates, but not a total redesign. And guys, I don't know why everyone's always so surprised about this. It's every other year that we have an S year, and this is one of those years. Now, does that mean that this update isn't worth it? Not really, let me explain. So this is a rendering of the new iPhone. One of the most exciting features that it's immediately apparent that's right, orange. The iPhone is said to be coming in a bold new color. They did it last year with blue, and while I wasn't necessarily that excited when I heard that orange was gonna be the new color, looking at these renderings by Apple tomorrow, I've gotta say they look really, really nice. Aside from that, we've got a brand new camera bump that's said to be significantly bigger than it is on the iPhone 12, and that's to house a brand new camera with a sensor shift stabilizer that'll help to better stabilize video and make photos less blurry and as well as a brand new portrait mode for video, something we're kind of already seeing in FaceTime if you've tested that, but I'm really excited to see it come to video in the camera app. So this is a rendering from Front Page Tech based on real leaks they've seen of a case being used to test the new Face ID on an iPhone 12, and this gives us hints to what we can expect coming to the iPhone 13. And that's gonna include an improved camera, which works with a mask or fogged glasses, and the alignment leads to a thinner notch meaning it'll be narrower than it was on the iPhone 12. Well, I don't think this is a huge update, this definitely makes sense for an S-year update, so I think it will happen. Now, we've also got a larger battery that's said to be implemented in the iPhone 13. Generally, what that tells us is that they've got new features that need to be powered, like, for example, portrait mode video. Now, we've also got a larger battery that's said to be incorporated, and it might make the phone slightly thicker. This is rumored to be powering the new features packed into iPhone 13, which will also include a much better display. It's said to be getting ProMotion 120 hertz display that's currently being used on the iPad Pro, and I really do hope that's the case. Of course, that means more battery needed, hence them making the battery bigger. The other thing this might do is lead to the iPhone 13 being slightly thicker than the iPhone 12, meaning that they can't use interchangeable cases. And while I hope that's not the case, it's looking like it might be. So that's everything that we have on the iPhone 13. Here you can see a bunch of renderings from Apple tomorrow, and if you're not already following, go ahead and follow him on Twitter. He creates really fantastic renderings of new products. 
as well, let me know in the comments down below, what are you guys most excited about for iPhone 13? I'm really excited about the portrait mode video and the ProMotion display coming to iPhone 13. While you're down there, remember to hit the like button because it tells YouTube the videos like this don't suck and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next one.